right, you guys. So I'm here with Jake X. He's coming out of Verona, Italy. He's a singer, songwriter, producer, and a vocal coach, amongst many other things. How's it going, Jake X? That's great. Thanks a lot for inviting me. It's a pleasure being here. All right. Thank you for being on. Where are you coming out of? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Italian, actually. And uh, I started music uh, ever since I was, uh, well, not actually born, but when I was eight, I actually started with uh, by learning the, the guitar, how to play the guitar. And, uh, and ever since, it, it's like a trip that never ended. So I, um, before that, I started like learning uh, the piano, the keyboards, because my elder brother was playing the keyboards. So I learned myself and then lately, I, uh, I, I like attended a course, a uh, full course, and then at the age of 14, I started like uh, starting singing, and uh, at the age of 17, uh, it began my uh, live uh, activity, and uh, so I had like the the chance of doing great experiences, like I toured with the ex singer of uh, Iron Maiden, Blaze Bailey, in South America. I played a great show with uh, Jennifer Button, which is the former guitarist of Michael Jackson. Uh, then I toured Europe with uh, Lacuna Coil, with Sabaton, with Arch Enemy, and I performed on the main stage of the uh, Metal Days in 2019 in Slovenia. Uh, so mainly the, be, be, between the 20 and the 30 uh, years of my life, uh, when I was be between the, the age of 20 and 30, I mainly focused on metal music. Uh, because I had a band um, that allowed me to do all these kind of things. Uh, when I stepped into the 30, I actually kickstarted my solo career. And actually, that was like in more pop, elect uh, electro pop sounding. And uh, ever since. Was it because you got tired of metal or was it just a change in decision with the, with the direction of the music? Uh, well, actually, you know, metal music, uh, I love that and it's, it will always be a part of my heart and my soul. Uh, but I'm a, like a melodic singer. So uh, metal in the last like 15 years uh, uh, leaves no kind of room for uh, very clean uh, uh, vocals. So it's like a scream or a growl or a, a mix of that. But even the clean vocals are not so clean as they, they, they used to be in the 80s or the 90s. So I just felt I just felt that I didn't belong there, meaning I, I, I wasn't able to express what I had in my mind, what I what I what I could do with, with my vocals. And so it, it actually was like a, a natural evolution uh, towards like uh, it was spontaneous. I actually felt that in pop music or actually in electronic music or uh, nowhere but m the modern metal. I, uh, I could express what I really uh, felt. And so that's how I started. Uh, plus, I always enjoyed uh, uh, doing things on my own because I, uh, I produce, I write, uh, I arrange everything, I mix and master. So I really love doing all that. And also, I love doing working in, in, in team. But on the other hand, I'm the kind of artist that uh, usually uh, like brings everything to to. to to light on your mind. own yeah exactly exactly so i want to live this kind of thrill and 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 follow all the steps and the passages uh, and give birth to my creation uh, uh, entirely alone so that was something that i uh, that i wanted to try because actually ever since i started my solo career i always wrote for myself uh, but my main concern and focus was, was the, the metal band. So actually, I always wrote in, in, a, in a group. Uh, I, I never had the chance to focus 100% on my music, my idea, and be as stubborn as, as I wanted to be, actually. Um, mm -hmm. But that paid off, actually, because uh, with two uh, uh, single edits published at the end of 19, I was already able to get a, a tour, a booked tour in the U.S., uh, which was, of course, was cancelled because of the, uh, the the pandemic and all that kind of stuff. Um, and but now my 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 music is on rotation on uh, radios of uh, like worldwide radios, uh, um, and I'm getting a lot of uh, feedbacks, positive feedbacks, and interest around my 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 music, my my character. And so I'm pretty happy about it. It, it means that the decision was was correct, even though it was not entirely uh simple uh but uh i'm pretty happy about it and uh yeah so that's that's pretty much about it 
it's really insane to think when the span of time, when you look back at things and how hard a decision is to either stay in a group or go ahead and make that decision. But crazy to think when you look back at it, such a great decision that it was. And even not only that, but stylistically, the genre of metal changed. And you said, there's not a lot of room for me to experiment here. So you jumped onto another genre and here you are with lots of success. So that's really awesome. Now, did it take a lot of time with you as an artist to jump into that area embolish yourself in that entire atmosphere how did you go about doing that were you already you know experienced with that well i uh you know i am the kind of guy that uh, has always thought that the existence and life was kind of a uh, pragmatic um like uh, really uh, scheduled and programmed but stepping into the 30 i quit a job that paid me a lot uh and i wanted to be a full-time musician so uh, I, I pursued my dream and I felt that no matter how hard I, I, I tried to escape that life, uh, music was still, you know, chasing me. So uh, at the time I was able to, um, let's say, to, to, to take, advantage of the, uh, take advantage of this and, and making friends with this feeling, uh, things went very smoothly. I actually, uh, despite many, many uh, stories that I hear about friends of mine about colleagues about people around the world that never met uh it's never been a struggle for me uh, it's always been a pleasure and even though i actually started putting all my efforts uh, and and all my hopes uh, of salary in music uh, even though despite the, the virus thing i can't say that i that i experienced or i had a lot of trouble i didn't have to change or find any job during this 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 period it's basically over over a year and a half and we're still in lockdown here in italy so actually things are not are not better in, in this kind of sense i heard and i saw that in the united states some gigs uh, have opened up again here we are very far from that i don't know i, I just saw like an image of uh, like a video of uh, ozuna or it was a reggaeton concert mm -hmm. so i actually don't know how the truth is i, I actually just saw the video uh, perhaps it was just like commercial or showing off or it was just like a little venue and it, and it seemed like uh, awesome but uh, yeah so actually uh, for me it was harder to process and understand that that was my that was my way but once the, the, the path was taken, it's like very, very smooth. It was difficult for you to go back and make the decision to say, I have this job, it makes a lot of money. And you had to say, I'm going to do this. That was the difficult decision to make to say, you know what, I'm going to put all of my strengths and energy because everything takes energy, right? We're like a fuel yeah. tank and all these energies get used up. And then when you go to the music, there's not a lot there left sometimes. No, actually, for me, the uh, the most difficult part was changing the mindset because, uh, and, and especially because my my own environment, uh, my my closest environment, uh, is something that has to do with music. But none of my closest friends are professional in music, so I didn't actually have the push of doing it. Because, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, come on. Whatever it takes, uh, you were going to make it. No, I didn't have that kind of clue. So it's, it's also difficult about that. And, and probably uh, it's a little bit of my culture. Here, Italy is a very uh, controversial country when, when, you when, you come, when it comes down about culture. Because we have a country full of history and art. But when you tell somebody that you want to live by your own art, they look at you as you are like an alien. Because no, how come of that? You have to look for a, for, a, for a safe job or something like that. So uh, art is something like is, is people are mocking about art, though they worship the famous and the VIP ones. So the, it's like there is no uh, building of the VIP. Either you are like you, you spring up at a certain point and you are a famous one and all people just like worship you. Or if you tell that I want to do that kind of things, not all the times you receive a lot of support. So uh, that was, the, the as, as I think back, that was the most difficult thing because my, uh, my culture, my history, my background is not a background that pushes you to do such a thing. Uh, especially when I had like, I was a, a, a sales manager, a, a, a international sales manager, and I traveled like every week. Uh, and so that was like a very secure job, the, the kind of the dream job they would you would never give up for an illusion mm -hmm. dream, but I did, and actually that was my was, that was the, the most difficult part. It actually took me ten years. Uh, now I think back, it, it took me ten years uh, 
uh, from 20 to the 30 years older. I actually was processing that. And, uh, and I actually discovered myself because I thought, as I said before, I thought of myself as a more rational and linear person, though I'm not. I am, I'm an artist. So it was the greater discovery that I made on, on myself. And, I'm, and, I, and I couldn't be happier as of now. I, I, I earn much less money than I used to do. Uh, I, I, I used to drive a Mercedes and now I, I drive a normal car. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I am living my dream. I see it growing every day. I breathe a totally different energy. I meet with a lot of uh, completely different people that, that like... Uh, think about the world in a very different way and this is opening up a, a new universe for me and that's totally worth it absolutely you're, all, you're only just giving up you know current fortunes for future fortunes that's all that's taking place right now you, you exactly. exchange it's a sacrifice you have to be willing to make and not everybody's willing to make it you know no, that, and you, that's the I, I i i believe that music is uh, filled up with misconceptions and uh, false illusions. Uh, it's not true that you can't make it, uh, but the, 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 the wrong thing is about what's the meaning of making it. So if, if, if you think that this is kind of thing that you open up your mouth, you sing a song, you, you, you record something, and then like the highway for becoming a superstar is like right in front of you, that's not true. Um, or like, uh, oh, I do a great song. The label comes, uh, it will pay me millions of dollars uh, and I will just sit in my couch writing songs from, from, from time to time and no, nothing, nothing more. That's not true. Uh, so I simply believe that artists as of today, they have to wake up, they have to know the market that they haven't known for a very long time. And uh, if they want to make it like any other business, you have to know the rules. If you know the rules... Uh, what kind of game you would play without knowing the rules? Of course, then you can't complain if you fail. But if you know the rules, you know how to move it. I, I, when, I, when I swapped, when I quit my job and I started music, I didn't do it just like with my head, with my head full of dreams. I, 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 I learned produ production. I learned I, I am a vocal coach, so I, I um, actually teach singing. So I had a lot of activities in music, everything in music, that allowed me to say, earn like significant money just to, to live like in dignity and carry on with that and wake up in the morning just thinking about music. Of course, if you don't plan it this way and it's like I either uh, earn millions of dollars by one song or I won't do that, odds are that you know, you're probably going to fail. <laughs> You have to find it and create it for yourself. Nobody is just going to hand you a label no. and a music video no. when you make a song. And the, the insane thing is, it might be a really great song, but you need that marketing and that sales experience, exactly. which you have, which it seems like you have, which is really exciting because you are a one-man army and you're able to put that out there on your own. A lot of people, they don't have both of those strengths. They need to discover them. They need a team, but you have lots of skills you can take from and go ahead and put your music out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, one of the things that I focused on the last month, uh, sorry, year and a half uh, was the marketing, marketing in general, music marketing uh, and any kind of thing that I can learn daily uh, uh, related to the to the business or unrelated to the business, meaning like uh, I try to uh, learn something new every day, whether it's about production, songwriting, uh, um, a new genre uh, or even unrelated things because creativity is it's like a it's, it's a habit it's not like a, I don't know a, a storm that catches you once in a time in a while so you have to to keep your brain uh, uh, open to also um, to 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 captate uh, signals uh, and and stuff like that so uh, uh, yeah th th that's that's what I, I am I'm happy and I and I'm proud that I could that I could do that. And I think that most of the people fail because they don't realize that no matter how good they are, uh, uh, music, uh, it's, it's not about scarcity as of today. There are, there are plenty of great musicians, great performers, great singers. So being able to do something in music doesn't make you special. I, 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 know, I know that can, that can be like kind of a, uh, deceiving, uh, but uh, or disappointing, uh, but actually, that's, that's true. That's the way it is. 
where it is. I mean, I, I think back in the age of uh, 70, uh, like 60s, 70s, I mean, uh, th there wasn't so much like teaching singing, teaching music, uh, academies or schools uh, were not around so much. So if somebody pulled out like a voice as Freddie Mercury or a guitarist, like, I don't know, I think back of, um, um, uh, oh my God. Um, so many uh, of the great I singers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, sorry, Jimi Hendrix, uh, who learned playing with a with a with a tennis racket uh, and 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 a couple of strings tied up. Uh, so these people probably were closer to genius because they pull out totally on their own. Uh, as of today, basically, no. There are a lot of ways to um, to to learn, but on the other hand, there are many more people that do it, and uh, probably there are people that can sing. Freddie Mercury's song in a better technique than he did, but they're not Freddie Mercury. And so the point is that, uh, yeah, if you don't understand that, you won't study marketing. And if you won't study marketing, you will not understand why your product, your personal branding is not breaking through. At the end of the day, it comes down to the individual and individual self-expression, right? At the end of the day, the core of the song and the artist, yep. like you said. And it's so funny today because how many tutorials and videos yeah. and academies are there to unlock the secrets to play probably the most complex piece of art you can try to learn that's available yeah. for you i i can tell myself that the uh the majority when i when i wanted to uh to like uh fully emerge into the production uh half of the things that i learned i learned for free in internet so the point is that what if in one hour per day instead of scrolling tons of uh, posts uh, on, on Facebook, on Instagram, or thrash like that, what if we dedicated one hour of our time every day to learn something that, of, of, about what we love? Because that's the, the paradox. We say that we love something, but sometimes we don't commit as we should. So the point is that uh, th there are internet that we sometimes blame it because it's, it's like a mess for some, for some reasons, uh, but it gives us the opportunity of learning constantly and free contents are, are incredibly higher. So, and they are being produced every day. There are a lot of, there, I, I am uh, following like a couple of uh, uh, musicians, producers uh, of, uh, by, from United States uh, that they are actually uh, um, putting up a, an academy for independent musicians, like teaching people the kind of things that I'm saying. So, so the point is that you can do it, but mm -hmm. you are the owner of your business. If you don't commit daily, nobody would. Mm -mm. That's the point. And uh, so that's, that, that's pretty much about it. And that's why I, I also gave myself a, a mission because I'm about to, uh, uh, to set up like a, a, a kind of a hub for, for artists and for musicians to, 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 to connect and to learn about these kind of things because I try to, to the artists that I that are produced, that I teach singing or any, any, any artist that crosses my path, uh, I also try to, to hand over this kind of enthusiasm and these little uh, discoveries that are not so little in my life because it's, it's changing the mindset, uh, it changes completely the perspective and your uh, idea of making it and so the result, the success. Success is not something that it rains all over you. Uh, yeah, sometimes it, it happens. I mean, it, I, I won't say that it doesn't happen. Uh, for example, There's spikes. Yeah, exactly. But uh, if, if, if you base on that, you know, go ahead, like winning the lottery. Uh, I would love to win the lottery, but actually if I base my entire existence, existence on uh, hoping that one day I will scratch the, uh, the, the winning card, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit more, um, the thing about being a professional as well is it has to be more consistent with the product, yeah. right? So you can't always depend on this, this, no, um, no. This, this not so consistent spark of creativity you're going to get, you have to sort of be able to consistently no. get that. And like you said, it's with that one hour every day. And if you want to get rid of a little bit of identity crisis with calling yourself anybody, this applies to anybody with, am I an artist? Am I a musician? Exactly. Maybe start, start living like one and then you can say you are one. If you're doing one hour a day, I mean, that's, you're living like a musician versus all these people who probably don't pick up the instrument. They don't learn something new and they're saying, you know, the labels are just not picking me up. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And, and that's the, 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 the other thing. I mean, um, 
of course, uh, uh, you can't also blame uh, the labels uh, because uh, if you don't do anything special, if they put all the money, all the knowledge, and all the, uh, uh, the plan, the strategy around you, when they will uh, uh, cut or they will, they will take the 80 or the 90% of the, whatever comes out of your work, uh, that's the way that it is. Because if they spent all the time and money to do these kind mm. of things, uh, they have to recoup the investment. And that, that's pretty linear. When I was uh, working for my company, I was a salesperson. I, I like uh, at the end of the year, I made uh, for the company millions of euros. I didn't see not even that one fourth of that, but that's correct because I never spent for marketing. I never spent for traveling. I never spent for anything else. So the point is that if you want to be like a superstar, you have to give something to the labels. And uh, whenever you will understand that you don't own your rights and your stuff and your, your art, uh, actually, you know, make a couple of questions to yourself because probably you didn't do your, your, your homework uh, before that. Uh, so I think that many people are starting to understand that, but still too many are afraid to do these kind of things. And also because thinking like, like we, we said before, I mean, history of the last 70, 80 years uh, were like created this myth that the artist is like an artist. The artist has to lock up in a room for six months, one year, like create a, a, a piece of, a masterpiece uh, and then touring, that's it. Uh, maybe it was like this. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. This is no longer what's going to happen. So guys, get over it. Uh, that's the point. It's like mm, if, I, if I speak to my, my, my dad, which was uh, um, we, we got like 80 years old a couple of days ago, and he keeps like, oh, my God, I remember the old times. Yeah, the old times are gone. So <laughs> we are born in this moment. So... That's the interesting thing about having to keep up with the trends and what's taking place right here, right now, right? Because the thing about everything is timing. So you might have something truly genius and you might have to either hold off on it for a couple of years because it's going to be a trending genre maybe, or you should have put it out sooner because it was trending at the time and things move so fast musically. I mean, I think you can yeah. agree music is changing at such a fast rate. What is, what is cool and interesting and tasteful just changed at such a fa at rapid rate. No, no, I totally agree. Uh, it's uh, like it's very difficult to keep up with all these kind of things, uh, and it's difficult to keep up with uh, with dynamic things in general. Uh, but this is the, the the important thing to to understand for me. Uh, music is absolutely a part of the today's world, and nothing in today's world is slow. So if you want to do music, uh, it's like anything else. You talk to anybody uh, doing having a business or simply having a like a, a normal job, uh, but they will say that from their opinion, things are changing really fast. So that's the world we live in. Uh, so there's, there's no difference about that. And of course, sometimes and most of the times, uh, the artist can feel like uh, that a little bit of magic has been pulled away from the world of the, of the musicians because it's not anymore the thing of uh, creating uh, the new trend or like i don't know i remember reading that the pink floyd they took two years uh, to record uh, uh, the dark side of the moon so uh i myself uh, gaze on uh, wow the idea of taking so much time uh, to like uh i don't know cherish of every single note every single aspect uh, but not simply because it has to sound great because it has to feel like a masterpiece that will create uh, I don't know, a breakthrough for the entire humanity. Of course, that's amazing. That's awesome. But it's gone. This is gone. And I think that some people might feel that the, the commercial, the, the, economic, uh, the, uh, the economic aspect of art uh, has overcome the uh, artistic or the creativity. In my opinion, probably it's always been like this. We, we simply didn't know. Uh, we idealized too many things that we didn't know that today we do. Uh, but the, the key point for me is simply, and, and I think that this timing, the, this time of the, uh, the virus and the, all the, the problems in the world uh, have taught us, like, has taught us something like this. I mean, uh, it's, 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 I'd rather be happy. I'd rather be struggling for what I love rather than struggling for what I don't love. Because in the end, 
problems are there every day, no matter what. So I rather have the enthusiasm and the strength to face them because I have a purpose. I have a reason. I have a mission. That's why I step out of the bed in the morning. If I find myself stepping out of the bed just for the money, it might come one moment of my life in which I question everything I have because actually there was not my, my mission. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that this is much worse than, <clears throat> than, than anything else. So that's yeah. why I don't, I don't regret uh, what I did. And I, um, but it's, I can understand it's difficult because it's like uh, not just, I mean, knowing what you're meant to in life, no matter what, it's probably the mission that we, <laughs> the, 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 the most difficult mission. So uh, I found mine, but finding everybody's one is, you know, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. But for me, it's totally something worth, worth fighting for. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you have to have uh, like an ideal, a mission, in my opinion. Um, and so I believe that um, now people are understanding that getting a job and getting like uh, $50,000 a year, uh, it's not the mission of, of your life. I mean, you have to be happy because I was wondering and thinking how many times when I was a kid, I wasn't told uh, uh, like, pursue your happiness it's like uh, get good grades uh, get to university find a good job get a family because that was happiness so happiness was the result and the factors of the equation was already established um, and that's that's important because i i think that the mind conditioning uh, uh, of course uh, it's uh, it's much harder when we are not aware of ourselves when you are kids and then in the, in the three years, uh, we simply replay patterns uh, that we don't even know that we are, you know, replaying. But actually, it's something that it's, uh, and it's nobody's fault because, uh, I don't know, here in Italy, my parents that are quite uh, old, uh, my dad was born in the, in the World War II. So, of course, he will always tell me, find a job, because for him, it was the perfect thing to, 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 to have. So, I can't blame the mentality of a, of a, of a culture that thought that this was better our generation uh, is the generation that has to uh, to spread the word that happiness is not a pattern i mean pa uh, is, is a destination but the the factors and the pattern it's different for 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 everybody we're starting to see that that's really interesting because i agree when we were growing up um when i was growing up and it sounds like you were similar or around the same time yeah. You were told to go to college, go study, and sort of have this predestined future that was set for success, quote unquote. But now you're starting to see here in the United States, and it sounds like similar for you as well, that children are being encouraged to pursue what makes them happy and that they will find happiness and success through that journey of pursuing that. And that's really interesting. It's going to be really interesting to see what comes out of that because a lot of us didn't get that. It was more of a battle between yeah yourself and then you know this other this other thing yeah and and i i totally uh i totally uh, i totally vouch for that and i am very happy that likewise it's really, yeah it's spreading all over uh from country to country from culture to culture uh because i think that in a happier world if people are happier uh, the world becomes a better place uh and we stop like uh, expecting that the happiness comes from parents, government, from, from the top. I mean, you have to, to build your own ground because on the other hand, uh, these people, you will probably never see them in your life. So, uh, and, and it, it created this like uh, uh, dissociation in which people projected happiness outside, waiting like, like, like if it was a gift. Uh, it's not a gift, it's a gift, but it's a gift that you can give yourself. So uh, it's a gift that it takes effort daily it's not something like uh i don't know it's a hundred meters race that i like i push i push i push and then i rest no no it's not like that mm -hmm. uh but i think that this is this is this is coming up and i see that many more people uh are like saying okay i wanna live and do music i don't care if i'm gonna be like a billionaire or a superstar i just want to live by my passion and that for me is great that's, that's, that's the spirit. That's how it goes. That's how it starts. Absolutely. We have one life and it's much more worth living it the way you want to live it than spending all these years wanting to do something else. Yeah. And, and especially, 
and and especially the other thing that really uh, excites me is uh, the if we learn to be independent that and that doesn't mean that you will never uh, accept a, a contract or a deal or something like that but if you learn to be independent an independent creator uh, we will probably get rid of a lot of uh, bullshit music that is mm. simply produced uh, because the market needs to uh, produce what what sells most uh, but what sells most uh, is not necessarily what's best uh, right. and, and what also creates a mindset um, of, of, of um, I don't know creativity is something like contagious uh, but if we don't see the, the right way uh, if I listen to a, I don't know the top 10 of my country I might not find the best creativity or the best songs that lead me to wow i want to do the same thing uh, on the other hand if i listen to the top 10 of uh, 40 years ago that was another story and that was probably some artists suffer on the other hand uh, if we learn by picking up ourselves uh, and spreading out our our our, our, uh, our creations and our art uh, we are like i don't know eight nine billions people in the world uh, can we find like thousand people that appreciate what we do something that yeah it's totally feasible and that would change the world in the next generation we will probably not see it now but that's not a problem i mean it's worth living for this history does repeat itself though so we are going to see things repeat themselves just in different fashion it's going to be interesting yeah. absolutely also the labels seem to be not disappearing because at the end of the day what's most commercially successful they'll always go for what makes most sense monetarily the labels yeah. commercially speaking but a lot of people are choosing to be self-made artists and they're putting their work out on social media and they have a much bigger following and they're making more money. But you, we might not be seeing it, but they're making their own money, selling merchandise and just making moves on their own. No, exactly. Because uh, th that's the, 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 what sometimes, uh, uh, in my opinion, um, deflects uh, the, the actions of uh, upcoming artists because uh, it's too easy to dream just about the money and the fame because let's be clear when we start we most of the times or many times we see that we, we see the sparkling thing the diamond and we we want to go for the diamond we wouldn't settle for any but anything but going for the diamond uh but on the other hand uh, we don't know the the, the, the tricks uh, and all the kind of thing i don't i don't know some days ago i was reading that for a million streams on spotify uh, lady gaga uh, takes uh, 177 uh, dollars so that means uh, that her share for such like a huge streaming like 1 million streams uh, it's like nothing of course lady gaga lady gaga is rich because of the tour because of she's like doing this for the, for the, for the past 20 years uh, but the point is that m sometimes if you have like 1000 fans 10000 fans around the world and you are the owner or the 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 uh, the major the major share of your uh, things uh, is yours, uh, you might make quite some good money. But the key point, in my opinion, is also one step before. I mean, if one artist focuses on money before thinking about a life of music, uh, that's, that's where it's wrong, in my opinion. Yeah. Because right. if you do something, money is a consequence, is, in my opinion, it's, it's not a purpose. If you do something for money, I tell to my students, if you want to like, make a lot of money in your life, don't be a musician. I mean, there are several mm -hmm. other better things mm -hmm. that will lead you to be rich in a, in a much shorter time. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so the point is that if you start doing something for money, for the money, you're probably going to fail. And that's my belief, not just in music. Money is a consequence. Mm -hmm. Though mm -hmm. in this world, uh, it's been like uh, uh, money should be an, uh, a mean to get to a result, but money has become the result. Uh, right. If you, if, you, if you misunderstand this, uh, in music, 99% uh, of times, you're probably going to fail because when you will see that you're not making not even a lot of money, you're not even making enough money, of course, if you gave up, but you might have a great talent, uh, you might be completely born for that, uh, but you will, not, you will never know or you will uh, struggle and be frustrated for the rest of your life because you mm -hmm. know you have a dream and you can make it happen. They will get used up much faster. The longevity will not sustain itself because they'll always feel disappointed for not having that monetary success. 
versus being an artist who says, hey, I'm, I'm so happy with just making my music and all that other external yeah. stuff will come as a result. But you see the difference and I've seen the difference in, the, in how these artists live and just carry themselves and, you know, definitely agree. You want to be an artist, live like an artist and all the success will come in the end. But you chase that thing in the beginning, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot before the marathon and you're going to be in pain for that entire walk, that entire journey. Yeah, and and on the other hand, one other thing is that, of course, uh, uh, in my opinion, since most of the uh, or many of uh, the uh, today's stars, I know I, I I I'm as a singer, I take for example singers. Uh, most of the singers or many of the singers uh, uh, that today are famous, they are not like super skilled in singing. So many people or many artists could think, well, why should I? study a lot why should i become a great singer if the people that can't sing are making so much fame in my opinion but that's simply my opinion it's not a, like a law i wouldn't settle for that because if you have to distinguish yourself you better have a lot of skills that nobody could question because as long as somebody could tell well but you're not that great in that you either become a great character like a great mm. brand uh but that's you know I don't know, and, and that's the uh, lead us back to what we were th- what we were saying before. Before, if we really believe that by create by creating and by doing art, we are libera- liberating or making the world better, you have to be good in what you do. Uh, I mean, I've been studying music for uh, fifteen years before starting to teach it, and I study every day different things, uh, any other kind of related things to music but the point is that studying is never over and if you want to become a number one the number one doesn't mean that you are the only one but if you want to become one that people say oh my god i can't tell any anything to that kind of guy because he knows what he does you have to study you have to to commit because like we were saying before we are many more that are trying to do music so the competition is like has raised thousand percent compared to Four years ago, of course. Four years Absolutely. ago, there were there were like few people able to play guitar, to play drums, to play singing. So those who succeeded were probably the best of them. As of today, the thing is not entirely about the merit, the merit of being a great musician, uh, because we're there are too many musicians. And mm-hmm. uh, actually, I uh, today I got a very interesting call with a friend of mine because I'm also looking at the um, NTF. Have you heard about that? That many people are like releasing music uh, is a non uh, sorry an NFT, uh, the non fungible token. The people that are doing like uh, unique uh, creations that that are selling to uh, to collectors or something like that. Uh, because of I've course, heard of this, but I'm, I'm still learning a little bit more about it at the moment. But yes, I've yeah, heard me, of it. Me too. Me too. Me too. Actually, I'm not an expert on that, but I I feel that this is something uh, that. You know, might give us a clue about the, the upcoming years because uh, it's mm-hmm. like the 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 the, the cryptocurrency. Uh, Absolutely, they, they're trying to create scarcity of one thing, and music is not something that you know. There is no scarcity of music. There is no scarcity of singers, of uh, players, of performers. No, no, not a, no, nothing about that. Uh, and especially because we know that a song today is worth like for the artist zero point zero 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 four cents per stream or something like that so uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, monetization is is a trouble at first uh so all these kind of things uh, in my opinion are are very interesting because uh it tells us that being a musician is in my a good musician a good singer in my opinion it's the basic i take for granted that you are good at what you do uh <laughs> then you have to be extraordinarily good at all the rest because right. uh, as of today, in my opinion, the musician is no different than an entrepreneur. I mean, you have to be an entrepreneur. And uh, mm-hmm. that's pretty much oh, about yeah. it. So if, either if you are rich and you can hire a bunch of people that, that do all the, the dirty stuff for you, that's great. But if you are like an, a regular guy uh, in terms of economics, uh, learn by yourself. And you have time because you have time for that. I mean... We, 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 we waste a lot of time by doing things that we don't need. So we have plenty of time. 
Oh yeah, and even if you're rich, the, the great thing about the, the music is you have to still put that time and put that effort, right? Hard times create strong people. Hard times create hard people, you know? So yeah. at the end of the day, a lot of our most, you know, the people we look up to had some of the most difficult upbringings. So it comes down to what you do when nobody's looking at, to put in that work. When it's time to work, yeah. you on the phone, are you scrolling around or are you, you, you applied learning, you know, value creation. Exactly. And, 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 and especially I always love to, uh, to get like inspiration from, uh, from, uh, you know, successful people in life. And you always understand that, for example, I played basketball for 20 years. So of course I, I was born with the idol of uh, Michael Jordan and Michael Jordan was one of the, the people that was training more than the others. And that were saying, uh, if you are talented, you have to work even more because talent is like a start. It's, um, it's the A and B from, from A to B in a faster solution than probably the guy next to you. But that doesn't grant you anything. And to no. keep on top, because one great performance, a lot of people can do a great performance, but keeping and doing great performances uh, one after one, one after one, you have to train harder than anybody else. Uh, are you willing to do that? Would you dedicate your entire life to that? And that's where in my opinion, the playground becomes thinner because it's difficult because it's difficult and nobody tells that. Nobody asks those questions and we would exactly, probably exactly. have le right. less, we would probably have less bad musicians. And that's a, I know that's a very harsh way to put it, but if somebody wasn't there to say those things, if this is what you want to do, this is what you have to do. It's not one or two days out of the week and you quit your job yeah. because then you might yourself just fall into the abyss. You know, that's for your own sake. And at the end of the day, you got to look out for yourself better than anybody else does. And so that's the thing. If you had somebody out there say, this is what you have to do to do what you want to do, it would reward you so much more anyways, because you know, in doing those things, you might not want to sometimes, but that's the thing. It's about getting through, not just on the day that you feel good, but it's yeah. about when you grab the instrument, you start learning, and then you put that time in, you're always going to see that the the progress i just spoke with a musician the other day and he was saying you know i practice all the time I, but i'm catching up with this really fast track it's a guitar yeah. track it's a, it's a, a thrash metal song and okay. he says you know the interesting thing is with catching up with speed he's always playing it over and over again for hours and he says when i play it from monday and on friday you might not see the difference and you're bouncing around but he compares yeah. them the difference is absolutely there he says he's, yeah. he's it's way faster yeah. way smoother Definitely, because uh, the, the body, speaking about the body, is, like, uh, is, is full of muscles and is full of memory. So you gain speed, not just like in a, in a, I don't know, in a burst uh, one day to the other. So every day, your nerves, your muscles, your, your skills, uh, just like gain one bit, one bit, one bit, one bit. And then you, you look after, uh, you look back uh, after a month uh, and you, are, you, you, you see that you are able to do or start approaching things that you would never be able to imagine like a couple of months before. So uh, that level of commitment will take anybody very far, anybody, because we are, we, I think that we all are creative people in the world. Uh, everybody with their own like uh, sector and, and specialty. I mean, we are not all musicians. I suck at math, for example. So I'm a creative, uh, I'm a creative Same guy, here. but I'm, yeah, but I wouldn't be able to invent uh, other, other things. So uh, creativity is not something that is like a 360 circle. Uh, but if you find yours uh, and if you find a sweet spot, uh, creativity, in my opinion, is also opening up uh, your life entirely because uh, for me, it changed my view. I, I stopped seeing the world uh, as I saw it before. And it's incredible because I live in the same country. I... Uh, you know, go out with mainly the same people. So what really changed? Uh, myself. The world is still the same. So a perspective, the right perspective, uh, for me, is worth a lifetime. Actually, it's worth a lifetime. And, uh, and probably, yeah, that's also, uh, I, that's why I appreciate the people like you that are doing kind of things because uh, that's another thing. I mean, everybody is like expecting always to hear the interview of, of a famous one to know whether, whether they are like wearing red pants or blue pants uh, or mm -hmm. how they wake up in the morning or stuff like that, which of course might be an area of interest, not mine actually. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, it, it, it takes like people 
like 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 you that are giving speech and voice to the let's say to the less famous people or to the non-famous people, but because the the cause uh, is as important as the the, the big ones, uh, or most of the times I would say the cause is purer as long as you are not so into the machine, the industry of that. Because once you are into that, probably you can't either uh, uh, keep the artist that just thinks about creation, just thinks about how to bring your art to the next level. It's a matter when you are worth millions of dollars, uh, there's, there's a machine behind you. And the machine is not just yours, uh, is, is made of, you know, a, a, a lot of people that had, had to, to, to keep up with that. So probably the independent people are those who have the uh, biggest power to create and to feed the world with, uh, with, with great music and great creation. Because I don't personally agree with the people who say uh, the, 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 music, the music is not so good as of today's because the listener is lazy. I don't agree with that. Of course, we all are we we all are lazier than before because mm. the lifestyle that we have normally we have like the uh, percentage that I don't know the attention rate is like the attention span is like four seconds I, I read once mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's a problem that we all have but on the other hand uh, uh, I mean if I am the the audience if I'm the spectator I I know I eat what I'm fed. So if I see other things, uh, of course, uh, slowly and slowly, I can understand that there is a difference. I, for example, uh, give an example that, uh, that pleases me a lot. Uh, when I teach to younger people, to younger generations, uh, and when they see like a real instrument being played, like a, a piano, a guitar, they hear the sound, uh, they're like, wow, they're stunned. Uh, so it's not true that the newest generation the newest generations they just like keep with the with the uh, fake sound of uh, out of tune of uh, uncapable singers or stuff like that when they do hear sound good sounding music uh, they immediately notice the difference that's a start that doesn't mean that they they take like five years of lessons but that's a start recognizing the difference it's like I mean, fast food versus a full course meal exactly 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 Fast food, uh, uh, like the fast food, is uh, it's it's it's, it's eye-catching. It's like very tasty. Uh, but the, I don't know. I remember like um, uh, a movie about Dorian Gray that the the character who uh, who played uh, Henry Wotton is said like the like the cigarette. The cigarette is the perfect pleasure. Uh, it leaves you nothing. And uh, it, it well, what, what was it? it? It's like super fast. Uh, you're not bound to death. It leaves you nothing, and then you want another one. So you're like in a spiral. Uh, it's not. Right. It's, it's not. It's nothing healing. It's something that it's. It's actually addictive, but addictive in a in a very uh, s s sucking way. It, it, right. it takes you to life, actually. It's dancing with the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I think we're really, really good here. I like this a lot. I'd like to have you again in the future, but for now, let's go ahead and shout Definitely. you out on social media. How do we find you on social media? Well, I have me uh, my Instagram uh, profile, which is 87JKEX. Then I have my Facebook page, uh, even though I'm more active on Instagram, and my Facebook page is uh, JKEX Music. Then I do have my own website, which is uh, www.jkexmusic.com. Uh, my YouTube channel, uh, which is uh, JKEX Music. Uh, so actually, more pretty much about it. But on the other hand, if you like, uh, if you go on my website or Instagram, you will now 
you will then find all the other links uh, if it's easier for you to remember. And uh, yeah, we'll attach those links on Instagram and we can find you furthermore from there. Yeah, yeah. On Instagram, you will find my YouTube channel and, uh, and probably my website too. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. All right. And where exactly in Italy are you coming from? I am from Verona. Have you heard Verona. of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I came from there, born and raised here. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice place to live in. It's small, very small compared to you to, to big cities in the United States. Um, it's like a suburb of uh, I don't know. I, I in the United States I visited Chicago, Washington, New York, uh, Miami, okay. and so uh, yeah. So actually, Verona probably is, is a neighborhood of one of these cities <laughs> so uh but it's well it's you're nice. born and raised you haven't left so there's a reason you stay and i, I believe it's awesome so i'll have to make it out this and maybe you'll recommend me a good restaurant what's your favorite place oh. to eat out there well actually uh that's that's the the the, the, the interesting thing i mean for the i know the these days it's difficult to, with with respects to that do you have a dish you've been making at home maybe something you hope you cook at home for yourself that you've been enjoying well of, of, of course i'm i'm italian so pizza and pasta i never mm. miss them yeah, of course and that that the, the probably the, the the couple of things that i can cook myself because i'm not a great cook so uh <laughs> so actually but no there are plenty of good restaurants and in the town in the in the in the city the the city actually is in a very strategic point because we have like a, a, a lake we have mountains we have the sea uh close to basically in a in a range of uh one year one hour and a half you find all these kind of things uh so it's so, all yeah. nearby whatever you need is pretty close by yeah and especially for the big countries where you i remember when i was in uh, i did a school exchange when i was um in the uh, high school and i was living in virginia in woodbridge uh, and a friend of mine, the, the family that hosted me, that said, we are going to see a friend we, which lives nearby. And it was like two hours. Uh, and two hours for me is like, I don't know, it's another town. It's, it's Milan. Uh, it's, just, uh, mm. it's like half of the other part of the north of Italy. So for, for big countries, uh, it's, it's nothing. Italy is something like you can every, I don't know, 30 kilometers, uh, you find a different place, different accent, different way of uh, living, different way of eating. So it's, it's nice. It's really nice. And, uh, and my, time, my town offers a lot in terms of tourism, uh, like uh, good kitchen, good cuisine. And yeah, it's, it's great, actually. Can you tell our audience how American pizza compares to Italian pizza? Well, let me say that uh, I am not... Uh, for example, against the American pizza. Uh, the, the thing is that I, I, I always tell such thing. Uh, it's a different pizza. If one guy thinks of a dish uh, as the original recipe is made, uh, probably it gets disappointed. But I can say that I rather love the, the, um, the deep dish pizza, uh, pizza in Chicago. For me, it was mm. phenomenal. Absolutely mm. phenomenal. It's something that, for example, we don't have. Uh, it's more similar to, to a focaccia. I don't know if you understand the word. That does, does it, focaccia is like a thick bread that we, uh, that we use as a bread. We don't put like, uh, I don't know, tomato sauce or, or, uh, or um, I don't know, ham or something like that. Uh, but the dip dish pizza is, for me, was incredible. And I remember that the, uh, in Washington, in New York, you can find this greasy pizza. It's like heavier, but in my opinion, still tasteful. On the other hand, of course, uh, if you travel with and you want to find your own pizza abroad, uh, you screw. But but that's pro for me, it's, it's not a problem. I must say that it's more difficult to find a good pasta abroad. Pizza, there are a lot of countries that I that I tried that they 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 can do great pizza. And on the other hand, pizza has become international. I mean, yeah, probably was born in Italy, but who cares? I mean, there are a lot of ways to do it. Uh, and if you do it good, it's all about the uh, the uh, how 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 you 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 basically put the um, the, the the mass together. So uh, it's all about it. If you if you have good like uh, good 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 ingredients, uh, fresh things, uh, the taste is is great. Absolutely, and I know that the Chicago deep dish is a very it's an interesting creation, right? It's like a pie, yeah. and that's but it, I agree. I've had it as well in Chicago, Lou Marnati's and. Wow, the butter crust and just so much cheese and everything. It's just a big celebration. Yeah. You can't go wrong. And, and, 
And I know that the uh, also the oven is, is special. I mean, there's something to about the oven that's not, it's not a common oven, or you have to to have specific temperatures and 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 I know details uh, to have it like that way. So right. it's very interesting. That's very interesting. So no, about cuisine, I I am I'm a fan of uh, international cuisine. So I and I learned that uh, Italians are sometimes are very proud of their cuisine, and they are uh, they're used to think that the the only great food is in italy that's not true that's not true uh, we do have great food and we have, have a, a huge variety so you can and the more you travel uh, all the way for for italy and the more you discover but there is great food everywhere absolutely yeah absolutely but that's not to say italy does have lots of great food coming out of it absolutely yeah, with, the past, yeah. with the pastas and the tomatoes and everything i mean i did hear something the other day that was really interesting i heard that a lot of the Italian pastas are grown somewhere in California because the agriculture is pretty, oh, really? you know, it, it's more, they're using it and then they're shipping it out there and then doing external things. And it's just really awesome to hear the collaboration process more than anything, how the world just unites and makes great cuisine. That's really awesome. Yeah. But also because, of, also because on the other hand, yeah, of course, you, you, you never know what's behind the, the, the trademark or something. I, I, I always, for example, think about a joke where well, it's not a joke, but a very funny thing that everybody thinks about the espresso coffee as Italian or, or the coffee as one of the most Italian things. And that's, it's for sure, it is. But we didn't invent coffee. Coffee is like either Arab or Latin American. So that's, that's the, the, the thing that Italians do best. They, they, they are able to I don't know, steal ideas and make up as they as they for their own. Uh, mm -hmm. But that's funny because uh, yeah, that's 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 how it uh, how it happens. Uh, but it, it, it's true that the um, the coffee here is is a culture. I mean, if you and, and many people get like disappointed because you 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 pay one euro and fifty cents sometime for a like coffee like this, very small cup because mm. the espresso is very concentrated, very strong. If people are not used to that, you get like uh, heart bumps. So uh, that's, that's, what, that's what happens. I drink pretty strong espresso, so I'll have to try it and really compare it for myself. You're welcome. You're welcome. As long as you can come and visit my city, it will be a pleasure to meet you and, and test you and test you. See how, All right. how, how strong you can burn the coffee. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, Jake. Uh, we definitely have to get you back on again because I'm sure there's much more we can talk about. I love to. I love to. So you have all my contact dealers. Dealers, it's been a pleasure for me. Thanks for what you do. I really appreciate that. The world needs uh, these kind of places where artists can can speak and art artists can relate and see that the community is going bigger and bigger. So thanks a lot. And anytime you want, just call me. I will be available and couldn't wait for for, for more. All right, Jake, Jake, I really appreciate it. I'm very happy to call you my friend now. It's been a great talk. And uh, That's great. Let's, let's do this again. Yeah, sure. Whenever you want. All right. Thank you.